It's been a while since our last report, but we're back with our winter catch-up on everything pop culture you need to know. I'm Taryn Warden, and this is Taryn's Take. In television news, American Horror Story's fifth season, Hotel, ended last Wednesday, but I won't spoil it for you. Lady Gaga won her first Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in a limited series on the show, and director Ryan Murphy revealed he has asked Lady Gaga to join season six. American Idol started their 15th and final season on January 6th that is set to feature all the judges that have been on the show. And finally, winter is coming. HBO announced that Game of Thrones will return for their sixth season on April 24th. In music news, the legendary artist and iconic musician David Bowie died of cancer after a secret 18-month battle. There will never be another like him and the world owes Bowie a tremendous thanks for shaping us into who we are today. Adele returned with her new album, 25, and has taken over the world. 25 has gone on to become the fastest selling album of the 21st century and broke NSYNC's world record for single week album sales with 2.4 million albums. And last and least, Chris Brown released his new album, Royalty, named after his daughter. The album received nearly no hype online and following the release, Chris Brown is battling new charges of assault. Lizane Gutierrez has accused Chris Brown of theft for stealing her cell phone, then punching her in the face at a Las Vegas party. Chris Brown went on to call her too old and too ugly to get into the party. But let's not forget, Chris Brown beat Rihanna as well and threatened to kill her, so it's not an out of character accusation. In other celebrity news, the winter season has proved to be a rocky time for couple Tyga and Kylie Jenner. After rumors of a breakup on Tyga's birthday were denied, multiple girls have come out against Tyga, accusing him of cheating on Kylie with them. Brazilian model Anulu Cardoza came out saying Tyga cheats on Kylie with her, but only when Kylie is out of the country. And a 14-year-old girl who identified herself simply as Molly came out with text messages and Instagram DMs with Tyga, repeatedly asking her to FaceTime and meet up with him that made her uncomfortable. The story is not that far-fetched since Tyga began dating Kylie when she was still a minor and he was 25 years old, and he was seen flirting with her when she was only 14 at Kendall Jenner's birthday party. Looks like Tyga definitely has a type, and that type is underage. Speaking of Kendall Jenner, Khloe Kardashian confirmed her relationship with One Direction member Harry Styles. Justin Bieber was kicked out of Tulum in Mexico while on vacation after jumping on ancient off-limits Mayan ruins and mooning tourists while drunk. Justin Bieber also confirmed his relationship with model Haley Baldwin, who was on that vacation with him, with multiple PDA posts on Instagram. Taylor Swift donated $50,000 to the Seattle Symphony around Christmas after becoming a fan of their Become Ocean performance. And finally, baby news. Kim Kardashian gave birth to her second child with Kanye West, a baby boy named St. West. Yeah, you heard that right, St. West. They have yet to release a photo of the baby. And Anne Hathaway announced she's pregnant with her first child with her husband, Adam Shulman. The upcoming shows in our area of Seattle and Tacoma include Troy Sivan for his debut album on February 4th, and Adam Sandler joined by David Spade on February 9th. A full list of shows and concerts, as well as hundreds of other stories, is available on the Terrence Take Twitter, so be sure to follow us at Terrence Take. I'm Taryn Warden, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you back here February 17th.